my name is Kevin McAvoy. We're here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts to talk about the fourth valve on the euphonium. Um, euphoniums can come in two different configurations for the fourth valve. It can come in inline four, which means all four valves are in the same plane. You play, index finger plays the first valve, middle finger on the middle valve, ring finger on the third valve, and then pinky on the fourth. Or it can come set up like the horn I have in my hands with the fourth valve on the side of the horn. Having the fourth valve on the side of the horn allows the player to uh, play the valve with a more, uh, with a stronger finger. Um, you're playing it with your index finger, which is a much stronger finger than your pinky. Um, this also allows the player to uh, with, uh, play the valve combinations with more ease. Uh, playing a fourth valve combination with your fourth valve and second finger for, say, an E, a low E, for example, um, is very awkward. But if you played that same valve combination fourth and second, like this, with my fourth valve way down here on the side, it's a lot easier and um, it allows you a more secure grip on the horn as well. The fourth valve drops the pitch of the instrument a fourth. Very easy to remember. Fourth valve drops the pitch a fourth. The purpose of the fourth valve is to increase the range of the instrument. It also allows you some tuning flexibility. Now, with the fourth valve euphoniums, there are two styles of fourth valve uh, tuning setups. Uh, one is a pitch compensating fourth valve and the other is a non-compensating fourth valve. Uh, you know the difference because on the back of the horn there will be a whole other set of tuning slides like this on the back. Having the extra tubing on the back allows uh, for the, the instrument to stay more in tune as you go through the fourth valve combinations. If you're playing a non-compensating fourth valve instrument, the instrument does not go down a perfect four when you press your fourth valve. It only goes down two and a half steps, so it's not quite a perfect fourth. So you end up having to compensate by, um, uh, recompensate rather, by pressing different valve combinations. You could get away with a non-compensating four valve euphonium in a school setting, but as you become a more advanced euphonium player, you're going to want a compensating a pitch compensating four valve euphonium. This will allow you to play a greater range on the instrument and um, it will be uh, a much better quality instrument that will take you through um, all your professional years as a euphonium player should you go that route. The two most common substitutions for the fourth valve are for one and three and for one, two, and three. To substitute the fourth valve for one and three, simply press the fourth valve. That will be a substitution for the notes C and F. To substitute for one, two, and three, simply press the second valve and the fourth valve together. Uh, this will be a substitution for a B natural and a low E below the staff. These are two of the more common substitutions. Um, using these, con these substitutions allows the player to, uh, to possibly play the scales a little bit faster, so your chromatic scale will have more flow, come out a little bit cleaner, um, it will also allow you the uh, option of retuning the, uh, the, third, the fourth valve so that the note E and F and C and B come out a little bit more in tune. So again, you can retune that fourth valve so that those notes come more in tune.